Hello, book nerds. Welcome to Bookshelf Bunny. I'm Kim, and today I'm going to show you my summer book haul. Hey guys, so I went on a fabulous bookish shopping spree a couple weeks ago with my wonderful sister-in-law. And while out and about, I also ran into Diamond from A Little Geek, A Little Chic. Remember to check out her channel. I found so many books, you guys. So you might have heard me talk about this before. In my area, a local group, a symphony and orchestra group, they do a fundraiser sale every summer. So throughout the year, they will accumulate donations and in the summer, they will sell all those books for dirt cheap. <laughs> so I had the pleasure of going shopping with my sister-in-law. I took her there for the first time ever. She walked away with a box of books for 40 bucks. I walked away with a box of books for 60 bucks. And we're talking a box of books. <laughs> so many books. We also went to a few other places and I picked up a whole bunch of stuff. Over 50 books for sure. I haven't totally counted them all. I did scan them all into my bookshelf app, so I won't be showing you physical copies here today. I will show you on the bookshelf app in a moment, and you can see what I got there. Basically, it's everything you see on this cart. Um, not all of it, mostly what's up here. I would also like to mention that this is the first time that I have been out shopping for books since March of 2020 when COVID hit. I sort of stayed away from stores as much as possible for like a year and a half. So this was an especially wonderful outing. Um, these ones down here are for a different reason, which I will discuss shortly. But first, here is my amazing haul. Are you still watching? Yeah, it was a lot of books, sorry. Um, I also wanted to quickly talk about something fun that I'm going to be doing. So if you have watched some of my videos or you're familiar with my 
Instagram or Bookstagram, then you'll know that I like to do bookish crafts. So a lot of these crafts are our sewing. And these are things like bookish face masks, bags, more bags, <laughs> book sleeves. This time I'm doing a whole other kind of project. Guys, I am so excited about this. I have been wanting to do this for a few years and it actually came up shortly after my bookish shopping spree. I was having a conversation with my sister-in-law. I took her to our local little free library and just to show her where it, where it is, what it's all about. And she asked, why don't I have one? Well, I don't, but I've been thinking about it off and on for a couple of years. So after that conversation, I went home. I told my husband all about our bookish adventures and we broached the subject of me starting a little free library. Guys, gonna do it. I'm gonna start a little free library of my own. I'm so excited. We cut some of the pieces for the wood this past weekend, which is why I'm late getting this video out. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Um, the weekend before that, I didn't even have a video because I was buying all of my supplies for my fabulous project. And then also my little brother got married. So my entire weekend was sort of eaten up by other things of a slightly less bookish nature. <laughs> Although I mean technically buying supplies for my library is bookish. But I didn't have time to film anything. So that's why those are late. But it's for a good cause for a fabulous cause. And also, these books down here, you can't really see them. These were donated to me from my sister-in-law. They're gonna join my little free library. I'm so excited. Ah. And the last thing I wanted to quickly tell you was we have a new bunny addition to the Bookshelf Bunny family. I'm so excited. We've named our little bunny Loki. Right now, he's only two months old. He is a Dutch rabbit, so he's not gonna get to be very big. He's not gonna be anywhere near as big as my other two rabbits, which are Rex bunnies. Loki is supposed to be about half their size. He's supposed to be about five to six pounds when he's fully grown. Now, I keep saying he, but I actually don't know Loki's gender yet. He's too young to be properly sexed. So we have to wait a couple months till we get a vet check done, and then we'll know. My husband and I mulled it over, and we decided Loki was a fitting name on account of Loki can be a he or a she. If you're familiar with the mythology or even now in the Loki Marvel show. I will end this video with some adorable footage of my new little fur baby. He's so little, guys. I would love to hear from you in the comments which of these fabulous books that I have just picked up in my amazing book haul should I think about reading first? I'd love to hear your suggestions. That's it for me, book nerds, and as always, happy reading.